Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Just a quick reminder, we do now have Amazon affiliate links in the video description. So if you'd like to support the channel, uh, please click one of those links and then buy anything you'd like at Amazon and uh, we will get a small commission from that. Today I'm going to walk you through how I install skins for Steam. So looking over the comments for 2018, I consistently see comments from viewers who ask me how I get Steam to look the way that it does. I've tried a lot of different skins and right now my personal favorite is a skin called Air. So if you navigate to this particular website uh, right here, and links are in the video description, and download this skin, Air for Steam, you can see this right here. So we're going to go ahead and unzip this to the desktop. Now once that's unzipped, you want to make sure you go into Steam and you want to go ahead and exit. And then once you've closed out Steam, you're going to want to navigate to the Steam location on your computer. So for me, this is C Program Files x86, Steam, and then Skins. And you can see the folder is empty by default. And what we're going to want to do is copy this Air for Steam folder that we unzipped into the skins directory. Now the skin will now become available to you. We are going to do some customization. So let me show you what it would look like if you were to change to the skin now. Okay, once you've loaded Steam to change the skin, you're going to make sure you're not in family mode. So you want to click this family mode button and enter your pen to leave family mode. If you're not using family mode, then of course you can skip that step. And then we're going to go to Steam, Settings, Interface, and then we've got a skin here. And we'll notice that there's one option now. There's the default skin in the Air for Steam. So select the Air for Steam, click OK. You'll get prompted to restart Steam. Once the skin's loaded, you can notice here that we've got this teal or light blue or sky blue panel at the top here. I'm not a huge fan of this, so we're going to change this. So here we're going to Go to the options here we're going to exit steam and then we want to navigate back to the directory where we installed the air for steam and then we're going to go into the extras directory and the themes directory and choose the dark theme so what we're going to do is go into the dark theme and copy these four folders and then we're going to navigate back to the root air for steam folder where you first selected the extras and right click and paste this over top of the existing folders. So click yes on the replace. Then we need to tell the skin to use this theme. So we're going to open up the config INI file in the root of the air folder. And we're going to want to navigate down and make a change. So we want the sky style to be turned off. So we're going to add two forward slashes in front of that. And then I personally prefer the user contributed theme for the KDE Plasma 5. So remove the two forward slashes in front of the KDE Plasma 5 line. And then we want to go down here and we can see that we are already including the dark styles, which is what we want for the dark theme. So here we should be able to just save this file close it and then reopen Steam and we should notice now that the styles are now um, a more lighter tone so that's the dark theme for air you have a lot of control for making the changes that you want to make but this is the particular skin that I am currently using if you want to go to uh, family mode the family mode is here in the upper right hand corner if you're not aware of that that can be a little tricky at times. So uh, anyway, that's what I've got to show you today. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. We'll talk to you guys later.